We are back in the Zimmel Arena for week two of season 10 here at the uh, Rockville Sportsplex. It is the Scabs and the Street Sharks going at it. Street Sharks in blue, more or less the home team here. They are a Rockville based team. And we got the Scabs in the red as the ball gets caught in the corner. Quick fight for it, leads to a breakaway the other way, coming right our way. Up the other side, it is Chuck looking for Drew. Can't get it to him there, Drew with a shot. That one is easily going to be smothered by John, and we have our first face off. Rob right now uh, going alone as uh, Neil is uh, getting his stuff together. <laughs> oh, and uh, trying to add to the time, as you know, there's a, a time limit now to switch lines. Face off in the shark zone. One drops back, this shot goes nowhere. For only one shot so far, that's the Sharks. Now in the middle, hook forward. Up the side we go, is Sitting gonna get there in time? He does, looking in the middle, nobody home. Knocked away by the Sharks. Up the sideline, this is a long clear. Owen will hold on to it. Bring it up near me. Played into the center. It will be Drew getting to this one. There is no ice, and that one was played on the onside. With a tap by Francois, doesn't lead to anything, and now it's a two-on-one the other way. Oh, and unable to get in. As you can see, everybody is on side in this case. Into the center. Trying to play it forward, nobody home. Owen has it. He's looking for Francois. Cut off in the middle. Kept in, kept out. We have a bit of a ping pong going on here as Neil has joined us. Into the corner, will this be icing? It looks like it is going to be caught first, it is. Now Owen bringing it up the sideline, he's looking. A big lob. Francois is there first. He's going to pass to the center. Oh, that's a shot, and it is saved by uh, Jeff, who holds on to it. We have one shot apiece. About two minutes into the game. Everybody races forward to make the new change. There is essentially a shot clock on the changes uh, to prevent any delays. This face off won by the scabs now. Mike trying to hold on to it. Joe puts the pressure on, but not enough. Now we have an offside call as the Sharks retreat. Scabs with three back, trying to play a player forward. There's Mike. Oh no, it's an offside call, and we're gonna bring it back. As we get ready for a face off just outside the zone. Uh, wrong side of the line, unfortunately. Here we go. It'll be Joe and Carlos to take it. This one is won by, I think, the Sharks, although it doesn't really matter. The Scabs get there first. Ball is loose. Trevor going to bring this one up. This one goes to, to Cameron. He finds Joe in the middle. Scott, an open lane. Joe's going to shoot. Has a save by John. Shoe goes flying. One of the Scabs has lost, has lost some footwear. Back the other way we go. Carlos trying to control it. Played behind, and Mike will bring this around from the other end. Being pressed by Joe and Kit. But gets the long pass. There is no two-line pass. This is a legal play. Carlos with a shot. That is saved. Mike unable to keep it in. And that's going to be an offside call. Right here. This yellow. Yep. As everybody's a little, still trying to work out the kinks in the offside line, you can see that the lines extend up to the top. Even so, uh, with so many lines on this court, it's uh, easy to get mixed up, as we have about 11.15 left. A little shoe tying issue. Now, Charlene and Joe with the face off, one by the Sharks, played forward by Sheila. Into the corner, Cameron loses it to Mike, who's coming our way. Sheila trying to wrap around. I'm always going to be on this court. Okay? Gotcha. Uh, a little confusion with the referee, trying to make sure that we don't have a collision here. This one gets away. It'll be Mike holding it. Mike brings this one up, and it's kept. No, Trevor with the intercept. Cameron tries to play it, but it only goes straight back to Mike. Mike up the side through Joe. Trevor has it, trying to keep it in, and again, the Street Sharks have to reset. Through Charlene, Molly is able to keep it in. Back the other way we go. Uh, scabs were winners in their first game 6-3. Street Sharks winners in their first game 3-1. So somebody's going to 2-0 here and hoping to make a promotion playoff run. Oh, Joe to the middle. There's Cameron trying to pass it back. Cut off by Charlene. Up the boards it goes. 
Some almost kept in. Sharks have to retreat. Everybody retreats as John makes a perfunctory play. Shots 3-2 now. Looking for a line change here. Joe trying to move in, nothing there. Kept out. Francois comes in, takes it away from Trevor. Can he make an instant offense? He shoots, saved by, saved by Jeff, goes into the, behind the padding almost. That was kind of interesting. Shots 3-3 three, three here. Up the side we go, this one gets away. Is it gonna be icing? Yes. So we bring it back here. As we are on the clock here. Everybody's ready to line up, even if the trailing team trying to move into position, but they're allowed to do that if they're behind the ball, so that's no problem. This one chipped over everybody. Covered by Owen. Drew with the intercept. This one caught by Francois. He's got a chance to stay the way. It's a three on two if they hurry. Played back, long shot. That is smothered. I don't think it would have been on goal, though. Shots remain three apiece. Face off now. The scabs with a chance to score off the face off if they can make a move. This one through the legs. Francois wins it to Owen. He'll shoot. That goes wide. Up the side, looking for a pass to the middle. Can't get there. Oh, Street Sharks getting in their own way here. That's going to allow Francois a chance. Nothing home. Now clear trying to get the board. A very weak clear leads to a shot the other way that goes uh, wide at the near post. Pass to the top. Owen from the point. He'll shoot. That goes through everything. Way too high. A little scramble behind the net. Nothing there. Shots remain 3-3. Three, three. A two-on-two two if they hurry. Can Drew get there in time? No, he cannot. And that's an icing. And we're going to have an icing call. Brings it back into this Scabs offensive zone with 7.45 left in the first period. Still no score. Only three shots apiece. Not really an exciting... Uh, well, not really a test for either goalie, although both of the teams have had very good shots, so I guess it's more quality over quantity at this point, and nothing wrong with that. Rich Hinton now, up the middle. Chaos in the side, he's gonna get it back, tries to shoot, blocked by Drew, tries again. Aubrey loses it out of the zone. Scabs are offside, and that's going to cause a face-off. Face off on the near side here with about seven minutes left in the first period. This one goes into the zone. And Francois trying to pass to the middle, intercepted by Drew. Back the other way. No, Francois takes it. Straight to Drew. He's got a chance. Maintains the zone. Tipped away by Mike. Passes to the middle. Nobody home. Oh, had a player and it just went through her stick. He's able to keep it in the zone, though. On your back! On your back! Now, Mike, he's got all sorts of traffic behind the net, looking for a way forward. Can't quite get there. Drew pinches it in the corner again. This one partly cleared, but straight to the top. It's helped in on a save by John on a help over by Drew. And the Sharks are able to keep this one in. Oh, they wheel it around. That's going to be a penalty. He knows it. And there's the touch up, and there's the call. Wheel. And the announcement now from the PA. Street Sharks penalty on Chuck. Two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalty. 40. A little confusion making sure they have the right players on the floor. And now the power play begins for the scabs. This is a big one. Medina from the point. Save. Oh, Jeff doesn't even know he has it. Has to fall in on the second try. Shots now four apiece. Play to the back, nothing there. 
Play into the side. Oh, that is well wide. Now Carlos has it. Can he set up the offense? He's looking. He's got Mike at the top. That's, that one is uh, scuffed on the way in. Doesn't quite get any vol volume on it. Oh, but he gets through. There's a shot. That goes wide to the near post. Follow through is going to be saved. Everything went crazy there, but Jeff was able to keep it out. Minute 10 left in the power play as you hear on our system. A little adjustment of the goal, and we begin now. Carlos to take the face off, but the Sharks are able to get, no, they can't clear it. Back to the top, can she keep it in? She cannot, and the Scabs are gonna have to reset. That is a big play. Throws it back in, no good. Now a lob, but this one goes straight to Smith. He's got a two-on-one if he knows where to look. He goes for the shot. That one is partially blocked by Molly, and Trevor clears the remains. Into the front, but Trevor again intercepts the pass. There's a shot by Charlene that goes high and wide. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left in the power play. This one goes through everybody. And that's going to allow the Sharks to reset. Oh, and bringing this forward for the Scabs. A little pressure from Sheila. Give and go try. Pull it off. Oh, and now with a shot, that one is stopped before it goes anywhere. Carlos trying to get back to Owen. Time running out on the power play. Pass to the front, nothing home. Shots are five, four scabs. They got two on this power play. As Joe comes out of the penalty box for, on Chuck's behalf, we have full strength. This one is kept in. Carlos has a chance. Trevor with the steal to Charlene. She'll shoot, that's saved. Coming around the side. Now Smitty trying to bring this up. This one is clear the full way. That'll be an icing. As we're going to bring it back here, near side. You can see the referee counting. He wants to make sure everybody's ready. Well, the Sharks are behind the ball, so they're okay. That means all they have to do is have the scabs line up. We can bring it back, bring it back. Keep it up, Jeff. Shot 6-4 scabs at this point. There's the face off. It is won by the Sharks. They're gonna try and clear it out of the zone. Nobody, no, it's stolen. The front to Rich, he can't do anything with it. Tries a second time. There's that shot again, stuffed by Joe. Now back the other way we go. Rachel looking for Cameron. Cameron way offside on this play. And uh, the little miscommunication, which means that we're gonna have it brought back out of the zone. No we goals yet here. <laughs> uh, being talked oh, to. Good? We got Francois here trying to talk over my shoulder. Francois. Yeah, he, plays, he plays for the wrong team, but on the camera, he's good. Yeah. Uh, no score yet. How do you feel about your chances so far, the way this game's going? We don't want to jinx anything, but we're very satisfied on how the team performs. All right. There we go. This one pushed forward. Very proud of that power play. Yep. And that's another icing. So more chances now for everybody. As we reach the two minute mark, we come back down this way. Street Sharks, uh, very interesting, playing a lot of dump and chase here, getting called for a few icing calls. Uh, let's see if they can uh, get some sustained offense here, because they need it. Rich with a shot, off the post! Oh, so close. Up, Jeff. Seven foreign shots now. Jeff pushed that one off the post. Rich and Mike run into each other. Joe has a chance. Through defenders. Is he onside? Yes, that's onside. Intercepted, Mike now the other way. And now we got an offside on the scabs, it's gonna come back. We have a minute 20 to go in the first period. No score. It will be Chuck and Francois to take the face off. This one, oh, nearly goes out the door. <laughs> Uh, no, no violation either way. Francois will lob this one in. Wide of the post. Final Miller play in the first period. Final minute. As we approach the last minute of play, still no score. Scabs have had the better of play, but they haven't been able to translate it. Sheila bring this one up. Passes across the middle. Nobody home. Can Mike keep this in? Yes, he can. He brings it forward. No, it's lost. And Drew chips it over Charlene. He's got a chance. One on two. Is he going to take it? He is. He doesn't have any help. He's looking. That shot is wide. Played in the middle. Goal! Just like that! Drew with that goal. He was instrumental in the first win. He's instrumental in a 1 0 lead here. Let's go to the official word now. 
The Street Sharks goal, scored by number 12, Drew Lentz, assisted by Bobby. Time of the goal, 1450. And that is going to be the last action of this period. Shots were 7-5 in favor of the Scabs. They hit the post, but the Street Sharks hit the net, and they have a 1-0 lead at the end of one. End of one, Sharks 1, Scabs 0. Sharks with a one nothing lead. Uh, Drew Lentz with the goal with about 15 seconds left. What went on in that play? Uh, I really didn't have to do much, man. Bob set me up with a beautiful pass. All I had to do was tap it in. So kudos to him more than me. All right, how do you feel about your chances going forward right now? I feel pretty good. I think we got to keep up the pressure. All right. It is 1-0 now here in the first, as we get ready to start the second period, excuse me. Uh, Drew with the only goal. Gotcha. All right, just got to get my positioning ready, and we are ready to begin. Trevor flinging this one up. Cameron, he's got it. He's got Chuck in the middle. Chuck the shot. Big save by John. Rebound to Cameron. He's stuffed by Owen. And it's a counterattack. What are they going to do? No, it's intercepted by Chuck. What's he going to do with it? Nothing. Molly up the side. Oh, nearly gets this one tangled. Scav maintained the zone. Carlos able to keep it in. Pass to the middle. Pass across. Nothing there, and Cameron has to play it. Owen throws it back in as everybody comes in. Trevor throws it out, spares him an offside call, and might even get an icing out of it. No, they're going to wave it off. Owen up the sideline. Molly tries to throw it back in. Nothing happening. Pass up the middle. Carlos can't get there as Trevor pinches it away. First shot to the Sharks in this period. Only shot to the Sharks in this period. Here goes the race. Race is on. John has to come all the way out to clear it. I guess that would count as a save as it would have rolled in. So two shots for the Sharks already. This one played up by Owen. That's going to be... No, icing is waved off as he got there in time. Very nice play. Trevor has to throw the away. This one will be icing, though. And I don't think anybody really... Can. No, no, they're going to wave it off. So everyone just sort of stared there. Uh, kind of an unusual call, I guess. John tries to play it. And he puts it in. That is a bizarre play. Uh, Chuck intercepts a long clearance from John, but the question is, why was the icing? That was a blamed icing and there was no call. Unbelievable. Because we're slowing down. Yep. Well, it appears the ruling is that everybody just sort of stopped and they decided to punish the defensive team and call off the icing, but it's not like they would have caught up to that anyway. Seems like a, well, it is what it is. First three shots of the period to the Sharks. Chuck with the unassisted goal off of an error by John. Uh, you can decide whether it should have happened or not, but it's 2 nothing. Chuck uh, vehemently defending his goal, as well he should. Uh, no, nothing wrong with that. Now Rachel trying to get this one around. Pass to the middle, nothing there. Back up the other way, the long race is on. This one is kept in, but it's going to be an offside, and we play it out. Offside. Offside. I got it. Over here, Drew. Over here, Drew. You guys use goals back up. It will be Francois and Drew to take the face off here. Rachel brings this one in, looking for Joe. Street Sharks with renewed life. Nope. Drew crossed the line too soon. Who's that rookie? And we bring it back. Uh, let's have a little conversation here with Suds. Uh, a little controversy on that goal. What did you think of the uh, waving off the offside rule? I did not see the, uh, the play, so I can't even make comments. All right. It was moving too slow. They couldn't play it. They stopped playing. Oh, the referee ruled it was not too slow to move. Both our hands have to go up to the offside. Uh, he ruled it was, it was an overrule because the scab stopped trying to make a play to the ball. And that cost them dearly as it resulted in a goal off of a howler from John, to be honest. <laughs> That one is not, that one wouldn't have been icing anyways. He played it from the front side. Long play, this one goes off the side of the goal. Looking for the wraparound, not there. And it's cleared the other way. Mike will chase this one down. Again, no icing on that play would have been called. Now it is Drew trying, Mike intercepts. Francois trying to do something with it, cannot get it into the zone. And now Drew swats it down. He's got to play. He's got Rachel in the middle. He's going to make the pass. He's going to cut inside. He cuts inside. That shot gets batted down. Fourth shot of the period without reply. Now plays it back to Drew. One timer is wide. Rachel has a chance. Swings and misses. Charlene up the sideline. 
Finds Rick. Rick with a long shot. That one will easily be saved. Now Francois has it. Players coming in and out now for the scabs. Back up from the door a little. Can they keep this one in? Yet? No, no, they can't. And now Drew's going to hold on to this one. No, it's blocked. Comes back the other way. And Starks able to clear just only as far as Owen. And that one is an offside call. Let's see if they call it. Any whistle? Nope, they're coming back out. They're going to let him play it. Now they're good. And Francois with a partial tip, requiring the Sharks to play a second play. They do. It will bring this across the line into the center. Played up the side. This one goes out. Sharks have to clear. And they do not, which means we will have an offside call. 9.45 left in the second period. It is 2-0. Four shots in this period to the Street Sharks. Not much in the way of shooting in this game so far. I wonder if people are having trouble adjusting to the new size. And now Trevor playing this one, and he's got Sheila deep. But it's broken up by Owen. Now Carlos has a counterattack one on one with Molly. Goes to the left, can't pull around, and it's Cameron pulling it away. Up the side, this one controlled. Trevor trying to pull it away, can't do so. Carlos has it, Sheila has it, everybody has it. Cameron keeps it in to Trevor. No, Carlos, back the other way we go, Smith with it. He's gonna wait, he's got everybody outside. Carlos, the shot's safe, rebound. No, taken away by Molly. So shot's 4-2, I remember there's another one. Owen with the shot goes well wide. Carlos has it, he's gonna go to the center, had Smith and couldn't hook up. Now Owen, long shot, that is wide of the near post. And Jeff will fall on it. Shots nine apiece in this game so far. Scores 2-0 in favor of the Street Sharks. Everybody racing over to change. There in time, it is going to be Chuck and Carlos take the face off. One by Carlos Smith with a shot that goes over everybody into the netting, which causes an awkward bounce. Now Charlene playing it around. Oh, runs into trouble with Bubba. Behind the net. Uh, Molly has to tip it to a teammate. And now Chuck the other way through Sheila. Oh, Audrey tips it away. It's still in. Now it's, is it in? Out, it's out now. And Sheila throws it the other way. Is it on target? No, it is not, but the Scabs will be forced to play it. Mike setting up, he's looking. The side of the board has Charlene. Oh, kept in by Sheila, but not for long. Now pass to the middle, Cameron has Chuck. Looking for his second, that shot is saved easily by John. Shot's 5-2. Tries to go up the wall. Oh, Chuck able to keep it in. Heads up play, he has been dominant in the second period. Here comes Cameron, that shot is saved. And... John right now fears the defense, but look at this, Francois, breakaway, shot, save, rebound, that's saved, unbelievable, two quick saves. Rick looking, he can't get past the defense. Chuck trying to clear, goes over Audrey, stick it's clear. Mike's gonna throw it back in, that shot wouldn't have counted. Now, the scabs are onside. Swap, pass up the middle. Audrey able to keep it in, but not long enough. Now Chuck the other way, he's got a three on one. Pass the middle, oh, it gets away! Rachel recovering, not enough. Back the other way, Rick has it, he's got Francois and Charlene. No, it's tapped in by Rachel. Scabs forced to reset. Long shot, oh, it goes in, unbelievable! I don't think Francois meant to shoot that. He was just throwing it at the net. And uh, Jeff with a uh, lackadaisical clearance, it comes back to bite him, it is 2-1. With about 6-10 left. Here's the announcement. Scabs goal, unassisted score by Francois, time of the goal. He's eight minutes exact, oh, actually 7.55, 7.55. I think it means 8.55, but whatever. Correction, 8.55. 
And this one's played back, popped up. Mathematics was never was never our announcer's strong suit anyway. Shot six five sharks at this point. This one gets away from everybody, and Carlos will make the chase, but can't get there in time. It is icing. Oh, what a way to get back into the game. And goalie howlers have canceled out here in a 2-1 game. Shots are 6-5 in the period in favor of the Sharks. Still plenty of time left in the period and another period after this, so no time to panic yet. Trevor with a hard shot that just skips away. Now up the side it goes. The scabs get around through. No, they cannot. They're going to have to try the other side. Tries to play it off the wall. It's a bad bounce. Shot is saved. Rebound is, is still loose, still loose, still loose. No shot. There's a shot. That's saved. And John will fall on it on second try. Shots now 8-5 as uh, John trying to marshal the defense, trying to get them into position. John Rompsa known for organizing his defense and making sure that they are in position. This face-off won by, uh, looks like it's won by the Sharks, but that shot by Drew is blocked, goes the other way. Goes all the way to the other zone. Here's Carlos with a steal. That shot is saved. Shot's now 8-6. Peter plays it to the middle. Oh, swing and a miss. And Drew is able to clear the zone. They're not aware of that. And it'll lead to an offside call. Only one penalty in this period, which is a good sign. Or one penalty in this game, I should say. It was in the first period, even. Charlene and Drew to take the face off. Yeah, it's been, that's not even close to 25 seconds yet, fortunately for the scabs. This one comes in, it's a little wide. Charlene with a rebound, that's saved. Oh my goodness. Now the other way. Rachel to Drew, the shot, the save, the rebound goes high. Oh no, he tried to hit it with a high stick, that's gonna be a penalty. Adam gets called for the penalty, and that means the Scabs have their second power play. Everybody going back. Almost a second penalty for the lay of game. But now, the Scabs have a chance to do something. They're down eight, seven in shots in the period. This one tipped away by Ricky. He's gonna make a move trying to get around Chuck. Into the center, can't get the wrap around anyone, no. Chuck is going to clear this one, but it's kept in by Mike. Sheila tries to fish it away, she can't do it. Second try, still nothing. And now Chuck is able to clear this one all the way. Remember, no icing when you're short-handed. So John is forced to play this one. He's way out of the net, that's how he gave it the second goal, but there's no pressure here. All the offense. So you can see only one player forward for the Sharks on a short-handed play. And it's almost enough to cause a turnover here. Can't get around. They have a minute left of the power play. Charlene coming up the sideline. Gains the zone. Has a three on two. Will take it herself. That shot is saved and held on two. Shots are eight apiece in this period. Players beating the switch. Running out of time in the period here. Chuck has this one up the side, knocked in by Owen. He's going to get a shot off the bar. Owen keeps it. He'll fire again. That one is safe. The chef know where it is. No, it pops loose. Another try. That's another save. Third try, Lucky. There you go. And we're tied. Jeff did not see the ball, couldn't see the ball in the scrum. He just had to hope it would bounce off of him. Finally, on the third try, they got the lift they needed. It is 2-2. Francois from Rich and Maya tying it up at two. Francois second. That's a power play goal. Shots 11-8 scabs in this period now, thanks to that. Scabs one for two on the power play as we reach the last minute. 
Sharks able to keep it out. Joe is legal in the zone. He's got Drew if he needs him. Passes. Drew to follow. Nothing there. Knocks it away. Follow up. Goes through everybody. I think the Scabs have something like the last six shots of this period so far. In a 2-2 game. Now Carlos with a little bit of a stick pop. That's legal. Did not do much of it. Finds Francois who's got a one-on-two. Will he do anything with it? No. Chuck is back easily to force Francois to retreat. Up the side. Joe tips it to Sheila who looks for the give and go. But it's straight to Owen. No problems there. Back the other way. We've got some excitement coming as we get to the end of the period here. Francois keeps everyone on side. Carlos is in position. He's going to play it all the way back to Owen. Pass goes to Lisa, nobody there. He, she would have been offside anyway. Drew the other way. He's got a chance off the boards for, for security. But Owen races Nine, him down. Eight, uh, was there a wheel? Seven, nope, nope, six, no foul. Five, Owen the other way, he'll shoot. That's blocked. And with that, we have the end of the second period and a 2-2 two, two, two two tie. Shots 11-8, scabs in that period, 18-13 to 13 in the game. We'll be back for the final 15, the decisive 15 after this. 2-2. Two, two. This is how it ends. Face off in the center to start the third period, of course. And nearly a steal. No, he's got a steal. Peter with the steal. Passes to Smith. He's going to shoot. First shot is saved. Backhand fall through. That's saved. Two quick shots by Smith. Both saved. Very nicely done. Now Charlene up to the top. Can't get it through. Nothing there. Up the side. This one is kept in by Charlene. She's going to try again. You get the feeling 2-2 two is not going to settle this one. 3-3 three, three maybe, but not 2-2. Two, two. Smith to the middle. Smith with a shot. That's way over everybody. Ooh, not a very good shot at all. Oh, Owen looking in the middle. Chuck tries to clear it to Charlene. Chuck tips that just enough to go to the side. And it looks like Charlene cannot get any offense, but she does keep it in. Now Chuck with the clearance. This one is finally cleared. Mike notices he's going to retreat. Everybody's back, but he's pulled this one so far back that. No, behind the line. That is an off. On the scabs. Yep, that is an ice. Is an icing or offside? What's the call? Looks like icing, but there's some confusion between the refs. It's going to be icing. 15 seconds to drop. So the Street Sharks now with the zone. First two shots of the period have been with the scabs. I think they're on eight in a row right now. Just goes to show how they've been doing. Uh, managed to get the extra player off. This one, Rachel. No, stolen by Francois. Can he get around Trevor? No, he cannot. Lisa will try now. But Francois was still across the line. That's an offside call. So it'll be Francois and Adam to take the drop. This one comes around to me. Bounces to Mike. Nobody there. That's going to be icing. All right. Uh, being joined by our sideline reporter Suds here at 2-2 so far. Uh, the Scabs are on a bit of a roll. They've had eight straight shots, but uh, they, they're still tied up. Do you think that, the, that they have momentum? We think the Street Sharks are going to be able to weather this storm. I think they got off to a slow start, and they're showing the offensive power right now. So the Street Sharks definitely have to hold the fort right now. Absolutely. And we're coming back this way. No save needed. There's a save. Shots 2-1 in the period. This one comes out to the top. Nothing there. Follow through goes well wide. Going to try again. This one is away. Rick, no. Trevor keeps it in. Second try goes to Owen. He's able to knock it. No, he isn't. Now it's out. And now suddenly Rick has a breakaway the other way. One on one with Jeff. He shoots. Save. And he'll fall on it before there's a rebound. Shots 3-1 in favor of Scabs in this period. In the uh, first week, the goals against average for the, for the league was 331. So what you're seeing here is not exactly out of the ordinary. You're probably going to see a lot less scoring here in the longer rank than you did at Tacoma, or for that matter, even at St. Albans or Sidwell. Owen winds it up. Off of Drew's back goes wide. Uh, Drew felt that one. Now Joe up the sideline. This is going to be an icing, and we will bring it back. Icing street shots. Francois heard it was icing. He's already at the spot. 
as it looks like Drew just sort of shaking off his uh, his injury. <laughs> two goals for Francois, one even strength, one the power play. It is Drew and Chuck scoring for the Street Sharks, that's why it's 2-2. Shots 3-1 in the period in favor of the Scabs, they're up 20-14 to in the game. Drew, now is he on the side? Is that icing or not? No, they're going to say it doesn't matter because the race was on. Now Street Sharks looking for the turnover. Here's a shot by Drew, he fires, that's saved. Shots 3-2. Back the other way, Carlos has an angle if he can take it. Nope, Drew cuts it off, and there's nobody there to help him. And now Joe has a one-on-two. He's got help if he can find it. There's the drop to Drew, he keeps it in. Long shot, almost tipped in by a, t by a Scabs defender. Shots remain 3-2 though. Oh, and looking for a teammate. Everybody racing forward. He's gonna walk this one up himself. Able to maintain the zone. He fires. That's saved. This one is stuffed by Charlene. Molly unable to clear. Tries a second time. Nope. Can't get around a second time. Try again. This one Carlos takes. We have a tie game here. Anything's possible. Joe finally able to get his stick away. And this one. Nope. Nope. It's race two. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a steal. Oh, but Rick is back in time to stop it. Molly throwing it in. Sheila gets back on side, grabs the ball. Everybody's good. Now Mike trying to bring this one up. He's looking, he's looking. A little pressure from Joe. So he dumps it back to Lisa behind the net. That's what you do. That's a good play. Now Lisa looking, looking. Gonna look for Smitty. Gets through Smith, and that will be an icing call right there. Carlos unable to chase that one down. Icing on the scabs. Shots, four to scabs in the period. Brings us to 22 to 15 in the game, but it's 2-2. So the scabs have played a slightly better game here, but not enough, not appreciably enough anyway. And you can't really blame uh, the, the mistake that John made because that one was made up for by a mistake by Jeff. So powers are even, everything's even really. Here comes Pete, he's gonna shoot. Oh, uh, that one is tipped away. They're up the other side. Fight for it, Drew and Pete in the corner. Now a shot by Smith goes high. This one goes off already. Back to Smith. Will he shoot again? No, he cannot. Mike will keep it in. Or will he? He no he can't. And out. He's gonna fire in, but that shot is from an offside position. And with a shooting offside, it's the same penalty as icing. Just dump it back in. That is a big penalty coming up. Well, penalty being too strong a word, but a big change coming up here. Now the Sharks ready to attack. Can't keep it in. Trying again, nothing there. This one hooks over the top. Nobody home. Mike being forced by Drew. Stuck again. That shot goes wide. Coming up the sideline. Chuck and Charlene fighting for it. No contact. Chuck trying to clear this one. He's looking for a teammate. Trying to get around Charlene. Back pass. There's a teammate. There's a shot and a save. Wow. Shots 4-3. Charlene pops this one up. Almost a high stick. No, they're going to say she got it down in time. Now look out. Pete, the other way. Breakaway. Shot. Save. Shots 5-3 now. Wow. Uh, the scabs have had a few counterattacks, a few breakaways that way. This is going to be an interesting finish, folks. We're missing one. Francois and Chuck to take the face off. Francois tries to dump it back and says it's going to be Elisa whose shot is well wide. Cameron looking, can't get anywhere. But Carlos keeps it in. He's got Francois on the slot. Passes off the mark. Cameron swings and misses. Francois has a chance. Nothing there. This one kept in. Pass to the center. Nothing home. Back the other way we go. And this one gets away from Aubrey. I have a feeling there won't be any offside on this one. And there isn't. And this one was not able to keep it in. At least the other way. Francois has it, that's good. He's got Carlos in the center, he takes a shot, goes wide. Point, point. Hey, 
Carlos needed Owens' call, but it was intercepted. Got back the other way. This will be icing, but nope, nope. Too slow for that. Cameron keeps it there onside. Owen back the other way has Francois. Are they onside? No, they are not. And that's going to lead to an offside dead ball. Six minutes to go. Shots, five, three. 23 to 16 in the game. It'll be Trevor and Francois taking it. This one pops back. And it will be Trevor trying to bring this one up. He, that is not an icing at any rate. He was across the line. Owen up the sideline. Let's try again. Oh, kept in. John steadies it. Oh, swing and miss by Audrey. Not much on it. Trevor looking for a teammate. Drew can't get there. Francois lobs it straight into Rachel's face. And uh, no, no, Rachel able to play it. So he gets away. It's on goal. That's not an icing. Lisa with the shot. That saved. 6 3 in the period. Now Owen will intercept this one. It looked like Rachel got hit in the head and they didn't even stop the, ball, stop the play, but uh, no harm done, I guess. She was able to continue playing. This one looking up. Carlos looking in the middle. Francois not fast enough to get there. Don't fire, that one is stopped. Back the other way, it's Adam. Intercepted by Aubrey, she keeps it in. Lisa trying to keep it in, can't do it. Sheila the other way. Sheila has Adam, making a two-man rush. Oh, and stuff Sheila, and back the other way we go, it is Lisa. Francois all alone, has all sorts of time. Shoots, scores! Scats goal scored by Francois. That is it. By Maya. Time of the goal, 10-25. And it looks timeout. like, yes, the Street Sharks will call a timeout. Francois completes his hand trick with a score 3-2. About four minutes and 20, looks like, no, I'm going to say 31 seconds left. Let's listen in. Correction on the uh, Scabs goal scored by Francois, assisted by Maya, assisted by Owen. Time of the goal, 10-25. All right, blue. Sounds great. Bring it in, blue. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's get it going. Bring it in, blue. Come on, guys. We got four and a half minutes left. We're down by one. Let's go. One, two, three, shot. They are looking in for one. Four minutes, 31 seconds. Francois, I believe that's his hat trick. Is that correct? Yes, it is. This thing always freaks me out. I'm going to hit it. Uh, this is what happens when you have a referee on roller skates, folks. <laughs> 4.31. Shots are 7-3 in the period. 25 to 16 total. That has been the difference. Francois with all three. That third one, he was just so far open, you knew he was going to have a great chance. With the shot that he has, the power shot that he has, and now Drew trying his part. He's on a goal. Chuck is on a goal. Looks like he's playing it up. This one goes through and is out. Street Sharks have to retreat. This one flipped up. Molly has it looking, looking. Joe with a long shot that is tipped, but it allows him to gain the zone. This one gets blocked again, and Sharks are forced out. Rick. I don't think they even hear him. I don't think they realized it had bounced out, and it, boun and it bounces offside. And this one's going to go all the way back with 3.30 to go. That is a huge call being made. Can the scabs make him pay? One more goal just might be the dagger. Up the side. This one kept in by Lisa. Charlene looking. Oh, had Rick, but Sheila with the interception. This one finally cleared out. Lisa throws it back in. Everybody touches up. This one cleared long, goes through everybody for an icing. Or no, no, it does not. No icing. Mike forced to play it. And Molly is able to keep it in. Drew trying to keep it in. Goes through Charlene. Chuck on the run. Comes up the side. Rick brings this one up and what's the call? What is it? Offside. Well, they said it bounced out. So it will be an offside call. Switch, switch. 
Street Sharks desperate to maintain the zone. They need more shots. About, three minute, about two to three minutes left here. This one is won by the Scabs, but they can't do anything with it. Joe up the side. This one played to Owen, and he clears it back out. Joe tries to throw it back in. Nothing that can happen here. Smith. Now they're set. Joe plays it back to him, looking for Joe again, but Owen. No, it's kept in by Chuck. Carlos can't clear it either. Now Lisa can't get around Sheila enough. Sheila keeps it in. Chuck's doing everything to gain his own. Saved by John. Shot 7-4 in the period. Are we have a penalty? Yes, we are. Oh, this is a huge call. And uh, there's no argument on this one. Owen caught with a high stick. And for the remainder of this game, there will be a Sharks power play. This is huge. They need this. Down 3-2. This one played out. Kept in. Adam. He'll fire. That's blocked by Smith. Stabs it out with ice. Do they know that? They do now. And there's the first one. When we hit one minute, every dead ball is a dead ball. So scorekeeper's going to have to be on top of that one. Everything on the line here. Last minute. Adam moving up the side. Go, he's coming. Is he only out yet? No, it's not out yet. And it's offside with 49.4 to go. So we have dead ball rules here. How far back is it? It's going all the way back? Oh my goodness. What kind of a. Wow. That is a, another big ruling. Here we go. Face off. Big face off. It is one by one by the Sharks. Chuck has it. Can't get it up to Rachel Francois the other way. Just trying to kill time at this point. That pop up goes to Jeff. He's able to knock it aside. Play it up the side. Can they race to it? Race is on. Icing is off. Goalie's coming out. Out of the other way. Wide of the shot. Follow up. Rachel can't get it to him. Empty net for the Sharks. Scabs holding on, 20 seconds to go. Remember, no icing for the Scabs. They can take shots with impunity. Time is really running out here. Audrey keeps it in, can't do it. Adam fires, saved by John, big save. John follows, that's blocked. John will fall. Time stops with three seconds to go. We're in the penalty kill, guys, you gotta get back. Three seconds, just long enough for a shot. I'm on the fucking penalty. Shot 7-5. This is huge. Five seconds. There's the drop. The shot blocked. Can't get through. That shot won't count, and the scabs have held on. What an exciting finish. Oh, the scabs did just enough. Shot 7 5 in the last period. 25 18 for the game. 16 saves for John with the win. 22 saves for Jeff with the loss. Francois, all three goals for the Scabs. He's the first star. We'll talk to him later. But for now, the Scabs go to 2 0 with a 3 2 nail biter. Scabs improved to 2 0 on the day, uh, on the season, with a big 3 2 win over the Street Sharks. Uh, Francois Dumont, our player of the game. All three goals for the Scabs. Francois carrying the team to the finish line here. <laughs> Yeah. All right, now, <laughs> the, the last one was probably the one I was most impressed with. Uh, just had the ball, had all sorts of time. Re How were you able to keep concentration? Because so many players, when they get that situation, they'll overcrank it. Get lucky. <laughs> all right. All right, team up to 2-0 and right now, trying to get into that promotion playoffs. Uh, Hold on, let me get let me get back. I had a fantastic pass from my Canadian fella, one of many <laughs> Canadian fellas. <laughs> he scored two goals on line changes, so I'm just saying. He's yeah, we, we've mastered the line change now. Yes. Here we go.
play team. Good play team. Team effort. Up to two and zero oh now. Uh, how do you feel about your chances to make that top four and possibly get promotion next time? Undefeated. Yeah, so far, yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. We'll so far, we so have wins. Yeah. Uh, Fra Francois Dumont here with the rest of the scabs. Three two winners over the street sharks in our game today. Congratulations, guys, and ready to see you again next week. You bet. Thank you.